This is the Danny K Show. Get 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 Presented by Pabst Blue Ribbon, 33 fine brews blended into one great beer. Yes, neighbors, for your entertainment, Pabst Blue Ribbon presents Eve Arden, Lionel Stander, Bob Jellison, Shirley Mitchell, the outstanding music of America's top band, Harry James and his music makers, yours truly, Ken Niles, and Danny Kaye. Well, last week, our over-enthusiastic but impractical hero, Danny Kaye, acquired a little theater. And now, with opening night close at hand, there is great activity permeating the place. Hey, Danny, help me, will you? Well, certainly, Lionel. What's your problem? Well, as your publicity man, I'm trying to paint a poster for the front of your theater. You are? Yeah. How do you make an end? Up, down and up, or down, up and down? Why don't you just lay on your side, Bob, and make a Z? <laughs> Gee, that's a great idea. That's a wonderful idea. Thanks, Danny. Well, you're welcome, Lionel. Say, by the way, don't forget to put the name of the play in quotation marks, will you? Quotation marks? How do you make them? <laughs> well, you know how to make a comma, don't you? Oh, sure. That's a period with a tail on it. <laughs> exactly. So if you want a quotation mark, you make two periods with tails and shove them upstairs. <laughs> Greetings, impresario Hello, Evie For heaven's sakes, Lionel What kind of a sign is that? Dazzy Kay's Playhouse Boy, you're not looking at it right You gotta lay on your side Oh, he's a little bit mixed up, Evie But he's very helpful Gosh, Evie Just think We've got our own little playhouse that's something I've always dreamed about. <laughs> really, Danny? Yeah, just think. I'll be able to play all kinds of parts. I'll get a chance to be Waller Pigeon, Humphrey Bogart, Sidney Greenstreet, all roll into one. Doesn't that sound great? Sounds kind of lumpy to me. <laughs> but anyhow, you're in this thing, and I'll help you the best I can. My oh, gee, thanks, Edie. You've always been mother, father, sister, and brother to me. That's me, one man's family. <laughs> By the way, did Harry James decide on his number for the opening? Yeah, yeah, he did. Uh, I think he's playing 12 o'clock jump. You mean one o'clock jump? Who changed it to 12 o'clock? War director Burns. <laughs> now about the play... Say, Dan, it is somebody outside to see it. It's about, it's about your permit for running this theater. Oh, that sounds pretty important. I, uh... I better go right out. Oh, hello there. <laughs> oh, uh, hello. Is, uh, is there anything I can do for you? <laughs> oh, yes. I'm the building inspector. Oh, I... Well, yes, I was just going out to see... You're, you're the, the building inspector? Oh. <laughs> Are you? Yes, I've come to inspect your premises. <laughs> My, uh, p p p premises? Yes. Hmm. Well, um, I'm, I'm sure you'll find everything is okay. I, I mean... <laughs> I, I think, I think, I, I, I think everything is just, just fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm not making you nervous, am I? No, 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 nervous? No, 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 I'm not, I'm not, no, 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 I'm not nervous. Then why don't you take your foot out of your pocket? Oh, yes, silly of me. Shall we start? I wish you would. You mean inspecting? <laughs> well, I've already made a very careful inspection. 
<laughs> well, uh, what's your opinion? Solid, brother, solid. Uh, well, you're not exact... I, I, I mean, that... <laughs> that is... <laughs> did, uh, did you inspect my beams? Yes. <laughs> yes, I did, thoroughly. Well, I... Just had him reinforced. <laughs> really? Tell me more. Come over here beside me so we don't have to shout. I didn't learn. <laughs> then I'll come closer to you. Now, tell me more about your beam. Mm. <laughs> well, I... They were kind of... Uh, well, you see, the, the, the piece up on... We, we didn't have the uh, cross beam. The, the plan... Uh, they just didn't... Uh, look, did you inspect the fire sprinkler system? <laughs> yes, it works fine. Oh, no, it doesn't. If it worked fine, it would be on now. <laughs> oh, let's not talk about the building anymore. Well, what should we talk about? Well, let's talk about you. Me. <laughs> yes, and me. You. <laughs> yes, and love. Uh, lo love? No, no. My view may be slightly myopic, but I can say I care for the topic. I could talk about love. And why not? But believe me, it wouldn't be so hot. So let's talk about frogs. Let's talk about toads. Let's try to solve the riddle why chickens cross roads. Let's talk of the past, the dear long ago. A flat top and prune face, I miss them both so. Let's talk of matters Libyan and maybe have Guy Kibbian Or if you feel amphibian, a cruise on the Caribbean Peruse the Daily News or do you read the Herald Tribune? But let's not talk about love Let's talk of Lamar, that head is so fair Why does she let Joan Bennett wear all her old hair? If you know Garbo, then tell me this news is it a fact the Navy's launched all her old shoes? Let's write a tune that's playable, a ditty swing and swayable. Let's say whatever sayable about the tower available. Let's cheer for the career of itty bitty betty grayable. But let's not talk about love. Let's talk about sharks. Let's talk about flats. Let's talk about the smudge pots that women call hats. Let's start a new dance. Let's try a new step. Or investigate the cause of Mrs. Roosevelt's pep. Why not discuss my theory, the life of Wallace Beery, or bring your aunts and nieces on and write a silly thesis on astrology, mythology, geology, philology, pathology, psychology, electrophysiology, zoology, phrenology. I owe you an apology, but let's not talk about. <sighs> let's talk about cards. I have some right here. How about a game of Fisher Pasha, my dear? Let's talk about time. And how it's elapsed Or to make the sponsor happy We could talk about Pabst But honey, I suspect you all of being intellectual And so instead of gushing on Let's hold a big discussion on Timidity, stupidity, solidity, frigidity Avidity, debidity, Manhattan, emicidity Fatality, morality, legality, finality, neutrality, reality Or sudden hospitality, pomposity, pomposity I'm losing my velocity But let's not talk about love That's wonderful, Mr. K, but I'd still like to talk about love. Well, I... Uh... Hello, Danny. Well, just... Ken Niles, am I glad to see you. <laughs> oh, Miss, uh, this is Ken Niles. Uh, see you later, boys. <laughs> How are you, Mr. Niles? Or do you mind if I call you Ken? Mind? Why, you can call me anything, or any time, for that matter. Uh, oh, uh, how sweet. Awfully warm in here, isn't it? Yes, very warm, isn't it? Oh, let's not talk about the weather, Ken. Well, what would you like to talk about? What would you like to talk about? Pabst. Pabst? 
<laughs> yes, Pabst Blue Ribbon Beer. Would you rather talk about Paps than love? Oh, I can talk about both. I love Paps. Oh, how nice for Paps. Certainly. Paps has that golden rich color, that one in a million taste that comes from the Paps Blue Ribbon process of blending. Full flavor blending of never less than 33 fine brews. Oh, you know, Ken, I love the sound of your voice. It's so smooth and mellow. Oh, that's Paps, all right. Smooth and mellow. Why, it has the most delicious, tingling, appetizing flavor that ever flowed from a bottle. So order it with confidence and serve it with pride. For no matter where you go, there is no finer beer, no finer blend than Paps Blue Ribbon. Say, uh, well, I think we better start getting things organized around here. Ken? Ken, will you raise the curtain? Uh, yes, Mr. K. Lionel, put those chairs in the center of the stage. Yes, Mr. K. Hey, Bob, hit me with a white spotlight. Yes, Mr. K. <laughs> Is there a doctor in the house? No, but here's a Band-Aid. Well, Danny, what opus are we doing tonight? Well, for our first play, we're going to present a very mysterious, blood-curdling murder melodrama. Mm, what part do I play in this murderous mystery? A female corpse? No, on the contrary, you've got a very big part. Oh. You're a mysterious European gal named Divesca Hunkadori. Oh. <laughs> Divesca Hunkadori. Mm -hmm. Okay, but don't tell my mother. She thinks I'm playing violin for Phil Spitalny. <laughs> By the way, what are you going to be? Well, I shall portray the exacting role of the famous super sleuth of Scotland Yard, Inspector H.I.J.K. <laughs> now, remember, kids, let's all play our parts just as though we had an audience. Oh, you're beginning to doubt it, too. <laughs> oh, come now, Evie. Now, look, kids, you'd better go in and get your costumes on. We'll start as soon as you're ready. Come in. Oh, hello. <laughs> Oh, hello, Jellison. How's the laundry business? Oh, I'm not running the laundry anymore, Mr. Gay. <laughs> My machine broke down. Oh, your, your washing machine? No, the button crusher. <laughs> oh, you do that with a machine. Ah. Well, what are you doing now? Oh, I'm in a very exciting business. I just thrill a minute. There is? Yes. And sometimes it's a little dangerous, too. Well, what do you do? I'm an exterminator. <laughs> well, that is exciting. You betcha. You betcha. <laughs> Mr. K, are you troubled with termites? Well, no, not personally, I'm not. <laughs> but I've often wondered. <laughs> Say, how do you go about getting rid of termites? Oh, I have a method on my own. I take a chair and a whip and a pistol and go right down into the cellar with them. You do? Yes, sir. Right where those termites are chewing away on the timbers. Oh. And then when you're face to face with them, you, you kill them, huh? Oh, no. I don't hurt the little dears. I just pull their teeth and set them free. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Oh, sure. A toothless termite couldn't gum his way through a lady finger. Ready, Danny? Oh, fine, fine, Evie. Uh, I'd like to talk to you some more, Jellison, but we've got a play to do. Oh, good. Can I watch it? Watch it? <laughs> yeah, you can watch it if you want to, Jellison. <laughs> Say, uh, Danny, I'm having a little trouble with my band setup. What's the matter, Harry? Isn't there enough room in the orchestra pit? Orchestra pit? It looks like a telephone booth lying on its side. That's the way I make an end. <laughs> <laughs> well, gee, Harry, the pit is deep enough, isn't it? I'll say it's deep I had to send my French one player home He got the bends <laughs> <laughs> Well, why don't you try the pit on for size, Harry And see how it works Uh, run through the 920 special, huh?
right now, kids. Let's uh, get on with the play, huh? Uh, what do you want me to do, Danny? Well, I can't suppose you read the program notes. Okay. The Danny K. Little Theater Guild presents an epic episode in the life of that intrepid super sleuth of Scotland Yard, Inspector H.I.J.K. <laughs> Entitled, The Case of the Murdered Meatball. <laughs> With E. Varden as Iveska Huckadori. <laughs> Lionel Stander as the sergeant. <laughs> Harry James as James. <laughs> and Danny Kay as the inspector. <laughs> uh, mood music, maestro, please. <laughs> the scene, Scotland Yard, where we find the renowned Inspector Kay hard at work in his crime laboratory. Sergeant Slender, hand me that test tube. Here you are, Inspector Kane. Now watch closely. First, I put in some magnesium monophosphate. Then I add some butane hydrochloride. And I pour in a dash of oxohydric acid. There. Now I stir the mixture. Must be an easier way to make iced tea. <laughs> Gad, Sergeant, things have been beastly dull lately. Beastly dull. <laughs> Not a crime in 48 hours. Gee, 48 hours? That's practically a whole day. <laughs> Quite. Quite, quite. This inactivity is frightfully appalling. I shall take that line again. This inactivity is frightfully appalling. That's better. Turn on the police wireless, Sergeant. Calling car 89. Calling car 89. Why haven't we heard from you all day? Is it anything we said? <laughs> Very sensitive, chap. What? Attention, Inspector K. Go to 1313 South Kensington Street. There has been a murder. A murder? Did he say a murder? Yes, I said a murder. <laughs> murder, he says. That's a holy time. He says a murder, he says. <laughs> inspector, murder. you're supposed to be the inspector. Oh, I'm sorry. I beg your pardon, Sergeant. I was, I was carried away. It's American butter jigging. What? <laughs> Come, Sergeant. Let's hire us hence. We'll be there any second, Inspector. We're doing 50 miles an hour. Top hole, my boy. Top hole. Careful, Sergeant. Manhole. <laughs> Remember your last murder case, Inspector? The one on the Liverpool night boat? Quite, quite, yes. You mean the case of the dotty daughter who despised her father? Yeah, she followed him on the boat, and when he wasn't looking, pip pip, she shot Pop on the poop. What? <laughs> Here's the place. I'll press the doorbell. <coughs> Pardon me, madam. <laughs> Lost it, fog. <laughs> hey, Inspector. Inspector. There's a shadow licking at the upstairs window. Oh, there is? Yes. Who is that up there? Who is that down there? <laughs> Who is that up there? <laughs> Who is that down there? Who is that up there? Who keeps saying, Who is that down there when I say, Who is that up there? <laughs> Hey, lady, let us in with the police. You are what? We're bobbies. Well, pull up your socks. <laughs> My butler will let you in. Good evening. I am James, the butler. <laughs> you, the butler? Yes, I'm replacing the chambermaid for active duty. <laughs> Monsieur Inspector, I am Iveska Honkadori, the widow of the murdered man. Do you not think I am beautiful? <laughs> Madam, remember I'm first a detective and second a man. 
<laughs> well, then, let us skip the first and shift into second. <laughs> Madam, yes? madam, where is the corpse? What? Where is the corpse? Oh, I see. Right in here. There he is, Inspector, on the floor. My word. Ghastly. Inspector. Do you have any idea who murdered my little meatball? <laughs> Your meatball? What meatball? <laughs> I mean my late husband. I call him meatball because he had always tomato sauce on his vest. <laughs> well, um, I'll uh, have to examine the body first, but uh, right now I shall have to remove my monocle. Snug fit, what? <laughs> now, let me see. Aha, oh-ho, ee Just as I thought. What? He's dead. <laughs> amazing, Inspector, amazing. <laughs> what was that? That is coming from next door. It's a meeting of the Frank Sinatra fan club. <laughs> <laughs> and what was that? They got him. Oh, no, no. That came from the basement. From the what? The basement. The basement. Downstairs. Come on, Sergeant. Oh, wait, Inspector. Before you go down the stairs, there's something I must tell you. Just, uh, what, 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 what did you want to tell me, madam? There are no stairs. <laughs> My word, it's beastly dark down here. What? I said it's beastly dark down here. Oh, answer my own question, what? I said answer my own question. I said, how long can this keep going on here? Inspector, there's somebody over there behind the furnace. Come out of there, whoever you are. I've got you covered, do you hear? Absolutely covered. What are you doing down here? Who are you? Speak up. I'm a building inspector. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting back to the corpse. It's safer. Inspector, are you coming up? Uh, madam, I'll be up there before you can say Jack Robinson. Jack Hello, Robin madam. <laughs> Sorry, I kept you waiting. <laughs> now back to the murder. Tell me, madam, did your late husband have any enemies? No, he was a good man. Everybody loved him. He was kind, kind, I tell you. Then somebody killed him. Why did it have to be my poor, innocent meatball? Why, why, why? If there are movie scouts listening in, I also do light comedy. <laughs> <laughs> madam, your name, Hunkadori. That's, uh... Hungarian, is it not? We. Oui. Then your hut. It says yes here. <laughs> I am leaving the park. Oh. <laughs> Pardon. Then your husband must have been the great Hungarian chemist, Halvar Hunkadori. The same. Who was Halvar Hunkadori? Why, Sergeant, I'm surprised. He was the inventor of ghoulish goulash. <laughs> ghoulish goulash? Absolutely. He took a great quantity of goulash, put it in a pot. Boiled away all the goo until there was nothing left but lush. <laughs> he then put it on the market under the trade name of Mother Hunkadori's Hungarian homogenized lush. Unfortunately, nobody bought it. The public didn't like just plain lush. <laughs> yes, then for months he was out of work. So having nothing to do, he discovered that he was double-jointed and finally got a job with the circus as contortionist. Wasn't he known as Halvar, the alphabet soup man? That he was, that he was. Then the case is solved. Madam, your husband wasn't murdered. He committed suicide. 
What? How do you know? <laughs> well, it's very simple. I saw his act. He would climb into an extremely large bowl of consomme at each performance. He would contort his body into a different letter. Monday A, Tuesday B, Wednesday C, and so on. Last Thursday, he contorted his body into the letter Q, and on Friday, R. But he couldn't bear to do his act today, so he committed suicide. Why? He refused to make an S of himself. <laughs> And so ends the baffling case of the murdered meatball. Did you like it, Ken? Well, Eve, as a spectator, I like the play very much, but as a criminologist, I didn't agree with some of Inspector K's theories. You Since... didn't, <laughs> Since when have you been interested in criminology? Oh, I've always been interested in it. In fact, right now, I'm working on a case. A case of Pap's Blue Ribbon, no doubt. No, Eve, this happens to be a case that concerns music. It's the case of the one-string harp. A one-string harp? Why, Ken, you can't get music out of a harp with only one string. I know you can't, Harry. It would be just like trying to make a truly great beer from a single brewing. That's why the Paps Blue Ribbon process of full-flavor blending combines never less than 33 fine brews. That's the only way in the world to obtain that wonderful Paps flavor, that distinctive tang and sparkle, that day-in, day-out goodness that folks everywhere find in this delicious beer. It's mellow, rich flavor. It's tingling taste. Yes, you can order it with confidence and serve it with pride, but no matter where you go, there is no finer beer, no finer blend than Pabst Blue Ribbon. Well, kiddies, it's almost time to turn down the lights now and lock up the playhouse for this session anyway. Oh, come in. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, uh, oh it's, it's you again. Uh, 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 anything wrong? Oh, no, but aren't you going to say something to me before you go? Oh, sure, sure. Good night. Directed by Dick Max and was brought to you by the Fats Brewing Company of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and Peoria, Illinois. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs>